Hey, what's going on fellas? This is Keel Dyken. So today I just wanted to knock out this quick tutorial for you guys, for those of you not familiar with how to format or write a Raspberry Pi or RetroPie image directly to your SSD or your external SSD. So um, I was actually in the process of rewriting uh, the new version of Supreme Ultra. So just thought I'd go ahead and just share uh, this quick tutorial on how I do it because I can tell you that the SD card formatter and some of the other programs uh, doesn't read the drive because of its size. And you guys know technically this is not an SD card. So let's go ahead and get, this, get into this review and I hope you guys find it helpful. All right, so you guys have your brand new Raspberry Pi 4, either an 8 gig model or a Pi 4, 4 gig model. Really doesn't make a difference, but you plug in your SSD, your external SSD, and you wanna write your RetroPie image. You're, you already have your RetroPie EEPROM updated, and you have a image that is compatible with your SSD or your USB 3.0 drive. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the quick tips that I had to do in order to write my image and also make sure it was properly formatted. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up Windows Explorer. And unfortunately, I've already formatted and deleted the partition, but I'm gonna kinda walk you guys through what I had to do. Uh, typically over here on my left, if I do plug in my SSD drive, uh, it would normally say uh, disk F or USB drive F. So currently, um, the reason why it's not showing on the left side is because there hasn't been a drive letter associated with the drive. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. But typically, if there was an image uh, still loaded on my USB external drive, it would read like an SD card. So typically it would say, hey, do you wanna format this drive? Or it would only say uh, F drive, for example, 256 gigs. And then it will show you all the boot and command lines. So you guys are familiar with that if you guys have already been using an SD card. So uh, we're gonna go up here and we are going to right click on this PC. And then we're gonna go to manage. Now I already have mine open, so let's go ahead and pull it up. And when you right click on this PC and you click manage, you'll be prompted with this uh, option here. Uh, you're gonna click on disk management and this will show you all the drives that's located on, excuse me, this will show you all the drives located on your computer. So this is my Samsung USB drive. Uh, typically, if there was information on here, uh, it would say 256 gigs, and then the rest of this would be partitioned for whatever else I wanted to add on it. Unfortunately for you guys, I've already done that because I've already done, you know, when I deleted this, I was like, hey, this will be a great opportunity to make a video and just help anybody out there in the community. So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to right click on this, and then I'm gonna hit new simple volume and then I'm gonna click next. And then we're gonna assign the drive letter F. I'm gonna leave everything like so, you don't need to do anything else, and it's automatically gonna format it for me as well. And as you can see, new volume F, the uh, F drive is already available. So now we can minimize this, and now I'm going to select the image that I want to write. Now, as you guys can see, the uh, using WinDisk uh, 32 imager, uh, the F drive finally appeared because originally it was not there. And over here, it doesn't detect at all. I just wanted to show you guys this with the SD card formatter that uh, this was not available at all. So I'm gonna close that out, it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and pick the image that we want to write. And I am going to select my image, okay. All right, so here's the image that I want to write. So uh, this will just take me a few seconds. And we're gonna hit yes. And always make sure you are writing to the right drive because if not, you guys will have a problem. Uh, if you guys write, you will overwrite your uh, information if you select the wrong drive. All right, so once we're done writing the image, let's take a look at our partition wizard. We'll go ahead and refresh this. Let me just go ahead and close it out and then I'll open up another one for you. All right, so as you guys can see, when I go to click on uh, the drive F, it says you need to format this disk in the drive F. So this is typically the same type of command or prompt that you guys would get if you were using a standard SD card. 
And as you can see, it says not accessible. That's because information has now been written to it. And let's go back. All right, so once you unplug the drive and then plug it back inside the computer, you'll notice that the boot, uh, the F drive has changed from new volume to boot. So I'm going to click on it. And as you guys can see now, all your boot files are here. And the drive now looks like a regular SD card, now bootable on your Raspberry Pi 4 device. Uh, just one last step. We're going to go ahead and look at it from the disk manager uh, section here. And as you guys can see, this is disk number eight. It is the same F drive, 256 gigs of, I'm sorry, 256 megabytes of memory is for the partition. And the rest of this is alloc allocated. Uh, the reason why you guys are limited on space currently is because once I install this in my Raspberry Pi device, it will uh, auto unextract everything here on the drive itself and auto expand, uh, making everything simpler so you guys can go ahead and add your uh, ROM files and all your uh, media files to it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'm now just going to go ahead, insert this in my Raspberry Pi device, and it will uh, auto expand everything for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video, just showing you guys how I personally get this done. Obviously, I believe there's some other ways, but for those of you guys who just wanted a quick step, something really easy to do on your PC, uh, this is how I formatted my external drive for my Raspberry Pi 4. It's really simple and straightforward. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you guys next time. This is Keel Dyken. Peace.